She's mine. She always has been, always will be. Petey thinks you're the man to help us make good use of our money. They might need someone to deliver something for them. Since when have you had any interest in politics, Eamon? I have to see you, Cathy. I have to see you again. You fit me up and I scream blue fucking murder. You can scream all you like. Because you were prince all over the murder weapon, darling. I went out on a limb for you, Cathy. Fuck knows why, but I did. You stay away from the peppermint and you keep out of my square mile. Joey! I'm gonna find out who did this and I'm going to fucking kill them. For your dad. I can't. Yes, you can! Don't say nothing to Kathy, Tommy. Never. This is our secret. I've got a good feeling about you, Tommy. I think we can work together again in the future. I can't have anyone but you. Come back with me. I can get us tickets. Flights for tomorrow morning. Come back here tonight. You took on a mission. That makes you one of us. You're in now. Now get back to New York on the next fucking flight out of here. Mr. Quinstein, eh? No, miss. He, he checked out this afternoon. I've written her a letter here explaining things. Please see that she gets it. You're pregnant. Do you know who the father is? It's Tommy. It's the beautiful bride and groom. Tommy and Kathy. I'm expecting his baby, Eamon. Don't ring here again. Sometimes it seems like I bankroll half a Soho. Policeman on the take, dancers from the club. And now my darling husband's making moon feasts. That's it. Beautiful. That's it. Slower. She's too busy playing happy families with my little kitty. Four years old and already Desiree's living doll. And Eamon? I've moved on. Corruption now. They're all over us now. It's not like it was. I've had bricks through three of my shop windows. Oh no. I'm losing money. And I will deal with it. I always have, haven't I? Don't tell me. You'll need more money. It's never been about the money. There was something else. Look, I'm really busy, Richard. So when did London get so hot? Tell me about it. I got some full shirts a day. Hmm. It's getting harder to do business with you. People are getting paranoid, huh? 
Would you rather not take our money in? <laughs> oh, I'm not sure what would happen to me if I snubbed your Irish friends. So, the boat arrives tomorrow evening from Cape Town. I've got men at the port ready to unload. Transport's ready. The goods will be in London next morning. OK. So, how long since you were last year? Five years. Has it changed much? I don't know. I'm meant to be keeping a low profile. Ah, come on, that's boring. I thought you'd want to take in the sights. Well, maybe I might be able to squeeze in one or two. miles to see you. What'd you do that for? You wouldn't answer my calls. I thought you'd have got the hint. Well, then, now that I'm here, maybe you could make him more clear. Daffy. Hey, honey, if you got a moment, there's some... Hey, man, Christ. Tommy, nice to see you. Yeah. So I asked tricks. What are you up to? Uh, movies. Yeah, I'm directing stuff. Erotica. We're doing great, and I'm busy. So... Hey, didn't it? Kathy, I don't understand. I don't it's have me. Time for this. Talk to me. No. All right, then, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have turned up like this. Can I see you where he's not? So, this is all a bit crazy, eh? This is my life. What, all the time? Have a drink on the house. Then you should go. Kathy. I know your stupid games, remember? Coming in here with your dick swinging. Leave me alone. Deal, Tommy. I give you money, you launder it, I pay you a fee. Yeah, understood. A fee, a fixed percentage. You don't start then creaming extras off the top. Do you know what the IRA do to people who steal from them, Tommy? No. You need to get that money back now. But I've spent it. Well, then you're going to lose your legs, Tommy. I just want to get it straight, because I thought you two were like brother and sister. I never said that. We go back a long way, that's all. Yes, and what does that mean? Nothing. Anyway, you said you wanted something at the club. What was it? Oh, yeah. I need to get my hands on some cash. What for? A business opportunity. Go on. Do I have to explain myself every single yes. time? I my dad left me the business, OK? I don't think I... I think we both know what would happen if we let you run the business. Why are you always stuffing that shit up your nose oh, because anyway? because it keeps me nimble. Bollocks. Where have you been? I had the meeting with Jan. That finished hours ago. Are you checking up on me? We're in the middle of a war. Yes, you might well be. I'm doing business. You 
you should be here, not me. If you should have been you locked up for all these years. I taught her that. <laughs> Keep on tracking. Ten four, good buddy. Now have a seat. <laughs> You're funny, groovy kitty. Look, I'm, uh, I'm swamped. I'm sorry. Could you, could you take her downstairs? I don't have time. Darling, uh, I've got company. If you know what I mean. And I've got a business to run. If you know what I mean. This place needs grown-ups. You asked me to bring Kitty back here by ten o'clock. And now I'm asking you to just, just, do you want to deal with all this stuff? Do you? Kitty, why don't you go down to the bar and get a nice glass of juice? Hmm? All right? Okay. Come on, I'll be right here. Oi, oi, oi! Buy her something. What's happening, Kathy? Your life's so perfect, did it? I guess we all make our choices, don't we? Come on, Kathy, it's me. Why are you here? Why are you so surprised that I want to come and see you, Kathy? Come on, Kathy, it's me. My mum died. Because I changed my name, they didn't know if she had an extra kin or anything. So all there is is some paperwork. A notice to whom it may concern. That's it. I'm sorry. I always liked her, your mum. When's the funeral? Do you want me to come with I'm you? I'm not going. She's your mum. She was a whore. And your dad was a drunk. What they did to us, it... <laughs> we're not normal. And I don't know why you're pretending we are. And if I did go, I'd go with my husband. Yeah, right. Don't. You mention his name, everybody laughs. You don't know him. And I'm not your little Kathy anymore. So that's it? I just go? That's it. Bye, then. Who we've ever had is each other. I can't have anyone but you. I don't know anything about this. 
Inspector, this department's been accused of endemic corruption, top to bottom. I don't know anything about this. I have statements from officers. I don't know anything about this. Officers of all ranks, detective constables. I don't know. Shut anything. up! I don't know anything about this, sir. OK. We all know the game. We have to prove it. And even bent coppers are innocent until proven guilty. I hope in your dealings with Cathy Pasqualino and the Peppermint Club, you've left nothing that might incriminate you. Of course, if you had anything that might help an investigation into them, who knows? He called again. Wanted to know if you're coming over this afternoon. Apparently, you're being coy. You see, Kitty Cat, some people might think that your aging auntie here... Less of the aging, thank you very much. ...is avoiding that man because he happens to be someone special, not just one of her, you know. <sighs> and one might think, little lollipop, that grandma here doesn't want to do anything that might make her genuinely happy. She's a grieving widow. She has a thing for black. So, 60s. You are an idiot. Yes, but I'm a young idiot. <laughs> All right, all right, we'll, we'll go out. It'll be a disaster. Of course it will. That's why you can't stop smiling. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice service. I'm not surprised you didn't come. I knew they didn't come at all. Was anyone there? I'm under investigation. I heard. You're not my only friend in the force. At least I'm a friend. A friend who's always been there for you, always done everything he can for you. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I've only got two things in my life. My job and... <laughs> Do you feel guilty, Cathy? So I don't. I look at you and I say how well you've done, what you've become. And I've been a part of that. I never asked you to. I'd never have let you. I wanted to protect you. I didn't want you to go to prison. I didn't want you to end up like your mother. You had no right. You were 14. You had no right. Look at you now. Look at you. You're so beautiful. I have to go. No, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a bit of a mess. No. Get off me! What the hell are you thinking? For ten years you've followed me around like some stray dog. Why? After everything that I've done. Everything? Okay. What? You think I should be grateful? All you've done is control me. Used my mum, used your job. Well, I'm not going to let you control me anymore. I am free of you now. Kathy! Kathy! Bye, Richard. <laughs> OK, Candy, that is lovely, darling. Now, Bruce, Bruce, <laughs> mate, slow it down a bit. Oh. Nice. OK, <laughs> take the crucifix off. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Hold on. Lovely. Now, Bruce? Yeah? Bruce, m move her hair so I can see your... Perfect! Uh, now, Perfect. that's what I call art. No, don't stop. Keep working. You've got debts to clear, haven't you? Do you know why they get you to roll up your trash and leg before they shoot you? That stops the knee from getting infected. It means they don't have to amputate. But seeing as you're English, they'll probably just pop you one in the back of the nut anyway. Get the money, Tommy.
Hello there, kitty cat. How's my best little girl, eh? <laughs> right, she's all yours. No, I can't. You've got to keep her. Daddy. But, darling, I'm going out, and Cathy's already dropped out on me today. Well, I've got stuff I need to do. Well, tough. And more importantly, how do I look? Oh, fine. OK. Right. Ooh. Gotta go. See ya. Des? What's going on with Cathy and Eamon? I don't know what you're talking about, Tom. Desiree! Nothing. It was all five years ago. Don't worry about it. What was? Just forget about it. Have fun, you two. Yeah. Someplace, okay? Who do you normally? Will you be okay if if, if, if I leave you here? No. Okay, sweetheart, you stay here. I'll be five minutes. Oh, Maybe, but, but this, this is work, OK? It's not... Roll up your windows. Please, 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 please. OK, you can come with me, but on two conditions. One, you can't say a word. OK, and two, we never, never tell Mummy about this. Deal? Deal. OK. Man Bruce, this big guy, huh? huh? <laughs> yeah, always happy to do business with the porno guys. You yeah, sure like your cocaine? I'll give you that. Sweetheart, come and sit down. Stand to make a lot of money. Nice one. Cool. So I'll take the stuff for him, get the money, and we'll split the profit nice and easy. Whoa, whoa. I thought I was just selling my stuff to you. No, I told you this on the phone. See, I haven't got the cash, and you haven't got the distribution. This is why you need me. I meant to just let you walk out of here with all my stuff. Oh, come on, Jonas, you know me. I'm not going to do a runner, am I? You can't just walk out without some sort of collateral, Tommy. <laughs> Something. What about your car? How am I supposed to get to the deal without a car? Be serious. Um... We'll take the girl. What? We'll take the kid. Yeah? I don't know. But I guess you're gonna have to come back for it, aren't you? Five o'clock. I'll be back by five. All there? Yes, I did tell you. You did, you did. Can't see why everyone's worrying. These will all be in Liverpool tonight, ready for the boat. Great! So you haven't been messing about after all. What's with the sarcasm? Who's your contact at the Peppermint Club? My contact? No, it's no one. No one you need to worry about. But people are worried about you, wandering all over town. Seeing people we don't know, saying things we can't hear. Hey, look, listen, you can completely trust me. Your problem, Eamon, 
is that you've never really seemed that dedicated to the cause. It's always been about money and power for you. That makes people nervous. Hi. It's hot, huh? Yeah. Why have I been cut out? What do you mean? Before, you wouldn't tell me what you were up to. Today, I get a third degree from Driscoll. I'm doing my job. I'm not betraying the IRA by seeing old family friends. Yeah, but she's not just family, is she? Caitlin, you can't stop. Bloody hell. You can't start suggesting that I'm You're not here to work. To with me. You're here to be with me. It's about bloody time. What kind of outfit do you call this? Right, so it's all here. Check it. That's it. That's all I know. Think. Just think. Look, Jonas won't harm her, OK? He's a regular guy. We've called the police. They know where he lives. We're going to find her. I'm sure of it. How could you do this? How could you take our daughter? Our daughter? What? You and Eamon. 
No, I did the maths. I was wondering why you got so wired whenever you turned up. You and him, five years ago. Are you saying you did this because you thought... No! I don't know. She's my little girl. She's my little girl, right? Stupid! Stupid! Come on, now. Calm down. Now. What were you thinking? Leaving my daughter with... Him. Well, this is my fault now, is it? He's a drug addict! Hold on. Who are you screwing while you selling my daughter for drugs? Don't. You're both... You're both children! I can't... I can't cope. I can't carry you! I love Kitty and I've always treated her like she's my own. No! You abandoned her as soon as the gym screwed me past! She is your daughter. Child. Yeah, if it was just you and me in a room and Kitty came in, she was round to me, didn't she? You pushed us all away, Cathy. You're not like your mother. You're worse.
and I'm not your little Kathy anymore. So that's it. I just go. That's it. Hello, Emmy. Normally we pick you up off the street. But you're being watched, so we thought we'd come to you. I'm DS Sargreaves. That's DC Chambers. And you're Eamon Doherty. No, that's... Don't. Please. We haven't got time. Your IRA colleagues are planning to maim and murder hundreds of people. Your girlfriend's right at the heart of it. If she wasn't, we'd just chuck you over to Bethnal Green CID and get you locked up for the murder of Caroline Dixon. But she is. You want me to spy on the IRA? Yeah. You need to stop messing around with Kathy. You're making them all nervous. You need to get back to the cause. Show them what a dedicated soldier you are. <sighs> You're gonna find out when and where they're planning the next bomb. You belong to us now. They've got contacts. People on your side. If they find out I'm working for you, which, in time, they will, I can't get away with that. We'll pull you out if we think you're in trouble. What do you mean, pull me out? Witness protection. You'll disappear, don't worry about it. Look, I know you're not the brightest kid on the block, but this isn't a discussion. You can go to jail for murder, or you can work for us and stop a terrorist atrocity. Um. You're not like your mother. You're worse. I heard the nurses talking in the corridor. They think she'll be fine. Really? When she opens her eyes, you wanna see you do this shit, do you? Why are you on your own? I want to be on my own. Why? Kathy. Look, I can't stay long. Things have happened for me and, and this, well, this is it for me. I just had to come and see you before I went. Because we're... I don't know, we're... You and me. Wherever I've been, you've always been there in my head. Okay. Well then. Goodbye, Kathy Connor. I need my staff. What? My staff, my key. If you're gonna go, go wherever I go. Just give me my bloody stuff. What's the matter with you? What's the matter? Everything's the matter. Everything. Just everything. I'm a terrible mama. I'm a lousy wife. I can't get through the day without cook. I can't think of a thing in my life that isn't 
totally screwed up. You'll be okay. <laughs> Tommy's a worry. But he's a good guy. Kitty will be fine. It's just dehydration, she'll make a full recovery. She's yours. She's your child. I wanted to call her Daisy. After Daisy Edwards, that girl that lived next to the pub. You know, the one you used to tease. I thought it could be a clue for you. But Tommy wanted Kitty, and I needed him to believe she was his. So things were supposed to get easier the longer you were away. I can't pretend I'm coping. I can't pretend I can live without you. Don't you dare leave. Not again. I need you to stay. Please. Stay with me and your daughter. Peppermint is no more. It's over. Finished. We're ready to leave Salo at a moment's notice. What about our old lives? We'll leave them behind. I hope it's worth it. You owe that man your life. You both seem to think it's all right to take another person's life and not pay any price for it. I'm scared for you, Amy. They already suspect me. Anything happens, they'll know I'm the grass. Volunteers found guilty of treason face the death penalty. Oh my goodness me. And Sky Living HD is in a very dark place tomorrow at nine, getting inside some messed up heads with the FBI's Behavioral Analysis Unit. It's brand new drama in Criminal Minds. Next tonight on Sky 1 HD, Dr. Greg tries to understand what's going on in the head of a determined young sailor setting a course for self-destruction in brand new house. <laughs>